We are here with Dominique Thorne, our Ironheart, our Ruby Williams. How does it feel to be here tonight at the Guardians premiere? It's so exciting. We're back, finally. I think we're all at the edge of our seat, so I can't wait. We're also like filming right alongside them, so it's like great to see everything finally come together. I'm pumped. So, part of the MCU family, is there anyone you're excited to see again? Oh, man. Hmm. Who am I excited to see? Honestly, I think I'm just excited to see the whole gang back together, you know? I think that's what makes Guardians special. Yeah. And speaking of the Guardians, if you could choose a Guardian to travel around the galaxy with, who would be your choice? Rocket. Hands down. <laughs> In a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe Groot along if he's down, but yeah. I feel like that makes sense though because you're such a tech, your character is such a tech genius and she and Rocket would have a lot to tinker with together, right? Be me personally, I don't know if Rui would have the patience personally, <laughs> but oh, you got your group in yeah. on too, yeah. yeah <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. So the Guardians have such a strong heart and a family bond. Mm -hmm. Who do you connect with most in the Guardians family? Mm, that's such a good question. Hmm, who do you connect with most? I don't know, I kind of, always had a soft spot for Gamora and like her whole story. She's been so like vulnerable throughout her journey but at the same time like unwavering about like what she believes and why she's here. Um, so I'm always rooting for her for sure. I totally feel exactly the same way. Well thank you so much for taking some time to talk to the fans. We're gonna send you on your way because we got a movie to watch. Let's go! We are here with Ginger Gonzaga from Marvel Studios, She-Hulk. Welcome to the Guardians Red Carpet. What made you want to be here tonight? Purple carpet, you guys, love it. Um, I am a fan of Baby Groot. I don't know if that's Baby Groot or regular Groot, but um, yeah, I'm just so excited to support James Gunn. I'm such a fan of his. I'm such a fan of, of all the Guardians, so I'm just excited to see what they have, and I can't wait to see who Nico Santos plays, because he won't tell me. Ugh. Do you have a favorite moment in the entire Guardians films that resonated with you? Gosh, it was just when they came out, like James just had such a stamp on the way it was directed and it was such a specific vision and brand. It was so funny, so cool. Just that opening with uh, Star-Lord coming out with all the music and just, uh, you know, the directorial shots. I don't know everything, but you know, I, I am a crazy super fan of Baby Groot. So once there was Baby Groot, it was, you know, all over. <laughs> well, you know, she, your character in She-Hulk does such a fantastic job of giving Jennifer Walters romantic <laughs> advice. Peter Quill is a little lovesick right now with this new, you know, time displaced Gamora. Any advice you would give him on winning her back? Um, <laughs> very odd advice is just, uh, well, to win someone back. I don't know. I was going to say use your imagination <laughs> and go from there. Yeah. <laughs> so the music is such a big part of Guardians. Yes. If you had a backup singer that was one of the Guardians, who would you choose? Oh, my goodness. If I, I really like... Palm's character. I love her accent, so maybe her? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would love to see the two of you together in a band. Thank you so much for stopping by to talk to the fans and have a great time Thank tonight. You. Love you guys. Thanks. I am so excited to be here with Menger Zhang from Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Who is your favorite guardian? Because I know you're a fan. Oh, yes, um, the raccoon. No, Rocket Raccoon. I know he hates to be called the raccoon. Yeah, Rocket Raccoon. If you had to save the galaxy with one guardian, who would you choose to save the galaxy with? Oh, I can only choose one? Only choose one. That's not fair. <laughs> you're so powerful yourself. You only need oh, one. that's true. I, I probably choose Mantis. Ooh. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> She is so much fun. You know, the Guardians movies, much like Shang-Chi, mm -hmm. have a beautiful combination of heart and humor and action. Yes. What's it like balancing all of that on one of these MCU films? Oh, I mean, Marvel is the pro of that. We always, like, you know, we cry and laugh at the same time, and we walk home with a warm feeling. Yes. How emotionally ready are you for this film? What? It's going to be... Like, emotional? You, you've watched it? <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it? No! <laughs> I haven't seen it either! Hey, that's why I'm so excited about it. You brought and, tissues, right? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, great. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm also, like, super excited about the pros cutting scenes. Yeah, oh! Yeah, that's, that's how we're going to find out some things, right? Oh! I think, so. I think so. I mean, we don't know, but I think we're all waiting to find out. So yes. we will see you in the theater in just a little bit. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for stopping you. and talking. Thank you. We are so
so excited to be here with our friend David Dustmulchen, who I feel like is an old friend at this point because we've had so many Marvel Red Carpet adventures together. How does it feel to be here tonight? I was just thinking about this. I've been a part of the Marvel family now since 2014. Wow, that's a long time. And it is always a dream. It's always a pleasure. It's always exciting to get to be here and get to celebrate yet another you know, chapter in the MCU. But tonight's extra special. It's the third film in the Guardians trilogy. It's the movie that we've all been waiting for for so many years to get to see. James has gone through so much to make this movie. He's just, I, I'm so excited to see this. I love him dearly as a person and as a filmmaker. And so to sit here tonight is just like, it's its one of those moments I'll never forget. Well, Guardians has also had almost 10 years of the films. Do you have any favorite moments from the movies? You know, I'll, I'll never forget. We were getting ready to start shooting Ant-Man, the first film. And Disney rented us a theater so we could watch Guardians, which was just coming out. <laughs> and we all sat together. And the moment when they're doing the uh, jailbreak and Rocket is trying to get parts together and you realize he's just messing with the <laughs> poor people, half of his plan is really just a goof. I laughed so hard. And I remember looking at Paul Rudd. I remember looking at everybody and going, Oh boy, we got our work cut out for us. We got to make a really good movie because this movie is amazing. Well, you have made some really good movies and we most recently got to see you in Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania as Veb. Um, who would Veb choose to travel the, gal the galaxy with if he could take a Guardian along? I feel like Veb would be best friends with Groot because Veb has this special ability, you know, if you drink his ooze, to get to communicate with any other being. And since Groot sometimes has a difficult time communicating with others, if Veb was to have Groot drink some of the Veb juice, maybe when Groot says things like, I don't want to do that, people would hear him say, I don't want to do that, you know? <laughs> now, costumes are a big thing in Guardians. Do you have a, a costume that you really love to see in this film? Well, I can't wait to see all of them, and I've seen, obviously, the trailer, and we know that there's going to be these really cool um, kind of pop art designs on the spacesuits. The Judy Ann is a genius. <laughs> I can't wait to see all the costumes. But uh, Nebula has always been my favorite look, and I know there's going to be some kind of enhancements, twists, turns on this. So, And Karen's my girl. I can't wait to see what she's going to bring to this film. Oh, you guys, this is... This is I can't believe this is happening. This night is finally here. He's speechless. He's speechless. All right. We're going to wrap you up so that you can get into that theater and see all the incredible things you've Enjoy. talked about. Thanks so much for talking to the fans. Thank you. Bye, guys. Hey, Marvel fans, we're here with Sochi Gomez, our America Chavez. Hello, Hi. welcome to the premiere. How does it feel? It feels great. I'm, I'm always get excited to come here. Like Next one, I'm always like, Yes! You're a premier vet, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, uh, I'm, I cherish that. I mean, that, it's not like that happens every day, you know? Yeah. So. Well, it's amazing to come here, to get dressed up, and to appreciate this incredible film. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Guardians moment from the film so far? Okay. Well, see, here's the thing. Any moment with Groot or Rocket. I'm like a Rocket fan. I mean, people who like really know me, I'm like a huge raccoon fan. So, like, I'm really into raccoons. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's like, I don't know, guys, okay? <laughs> but I love raccoons, so I, even though Rocket has an, a little bit of a tood, a little bit of a tood, um, I'm into it, you know? On a scale from zero to 10, how emotionally prepared are you for this film? Okay, I, okay, guys, <laughs> I've seen the trailers, and I don't think I'm prepared at all. No? No, I'm not, I don't, I, anytime I see a Guardians movie, I'm not prepared. How many tissues did you bring? Um, I couldn't fit any. You don't have a so. team of for you? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I for sure have that. No, it's it'll, I will literally be holding all my popcorn and at the very bottom I'll have my tissues. <laughs> well, we're going to send you into the theater to have some of that salty popcorn and get ready to cry our eyes out together tonight. I'm not ready. <laughs>